what is happening? Welcome to Beyblade News. Today we're talking about what has happened in the last week of Beyblade. And starting things off today with the Beyblade Awards. Yes, the Beyblade Awards just released on out in the last few days. And, and bay creators from across the community are going ahead and reacting to it, with many different bay tubers having different reactions to this whole thing. And while it was the first award show that has happened in the Beyblade community, hosted by no other than yourself, Team S Beyblade, subscribe, but also at the same time with this, there was a lot of criticism that came with this award show. With the overall thought ranging anywhere from calling the award show trash and horrible and rigged and Mr. Popular, going all the way out to seeing where other channels are wanting to go ahead and make their videos better, improving their chances of winning an award next year. And then Cyber Productions, a fellow LEGO Bay tuber, has reached 2,000 subscribers, and with that milestone, he's actually changed his profile picture to actually it's a little funny profile picture. Congrats to Cyber Productions there. And then, did you know there is a Beyblade X event held by Toys R Us in Japan right now. If you didn't see Noel Churchill's video on this event, they actually won some new stickers, which is the first of this kind, as Beyblade X has never seen anything like this where it has incorporated stickers now. And this being the first of its kind, what do you guys think in the comments down below? And then the man himself, Jake Jones, he's working on a new anime stadium, the final anime stadium from Burst. Well, that just happened. And out of all these stadiums, this is the first time he's actually done a live stream working on it. And then Nizima Blader, a channel who was also featured in the Beyblade Awards, has a major channel update on his living situation. He's recently going into surgery and has had to open up a Patreon. So if you guys would like to go ahead and support his Patreon down below. Within this video, he also explained that, that he's moving out of Georgia to back to where his family is from and that his channel has actually kept him somewhat sane as it broke up the mindless minute things in life for him. And then to add on top of that, Lisbon Bays is actually recovering from a mild heart attack as hopefully he has a rather speedy recovery. And then Whitastic might be the only Lego Bay tuber at the moment creating and posting Lego Beyblade X videos. As a recent search, you cannot really find any of the main Lego Bay tubers creating Gen X content. Not Lego Bay Z, not myself, and not Cyber Productions. But from the looks of things, Whitastic, out of the big names, is the only one creating this, which leads people to wonder, is the Lego Beyblade community dying on YouTube? I don't know, guys. Well, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below if, you know, there should be more Lego Bay tubers creating Gen X content. And then TNJ might be creating a secondary award show. This award show excluding any big content creators. This would be a rather interesting since the award show just happened and uniting over 20 different content creators together. Now, I think this is somewhat contradictive of the actual award show considering that it just happened. With him stating that this new award show that he would be making is just for smaller content creators. Now, not, not too much has been said about this except for a community post. And then Crazy Aries outdoing himself again it has created a new Gen X Beyblade. Yes, he's already started working on Gen X Beyblades, and his newest one is a Metal Fight Pegasus. Now, this thing looks absolutely stunning, and he's only done community posts on it, and while compared to the traditional Gen X Bays right now, this bay is rather thick, and I mean thick, thick. But it'll be interesting to see, once this video comes out, if it's made out of plastic or metal for the outside as printing metal is rather expensive. And then, do you have a try-hard Beyblade combo? Well, T-Flame has actually reached out in a community post to go ahead and have users create and post their most try-hard combos and burst Metal Fight and Gen X. And while I personally put down my own, quote, try-hard combo, as it's one of the most Hasbro unburstable combos, which is no other than a combo, a uh, Glag Devilos Ignition Hypersphere. And I'm actually really interested to see, you know, what he ends up doing with this community post, what videos he ends up creating with it. I hope he goes ahead and bows my combo. And then Illinik just had his canceled order. As some of you might know, he orders his Beyblades off of Japan Amazon. However, in a recent community post he did, he stated that his his newest X-Bay Viper 
just got canceled. Which leads me to question, how many others that are non-Baytubers that order from JP Amazon have had their, their orders canceled? I would like to know if you have had your orders delayed or canceled from Amazon JP down in the comments. And then finally we have, people are now starting to get Cobalt Drake. And while this is rather interesting as it's a rare bait that you can only get from an app right now. And some Baytubers are now getting this such as Illinik, Church Noel, and Zanke being some of the very few that have gotten this Beyblade now. There's some issues that we're starting to see with this Beyblade, and among which are paint chipping off the Beyblade. After like 30 minutes of use, we can see that there's a heavy use of paint chip damage on this Beyblade. And among this as well, is that this Bey is a much heavier than a lot of the other Gen X Bays. Meaning, if you have this layer and you bring it to any Gen X tournaments, you automatically have a higher advantage of winning just due to this heavier weight of a bay. And this does break the issue of if we are going to get more painted bays in the future on the metal or not. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. And of course, I've been your host today, TMS Beyblade, and go ahead and subscribe for your weekly Beyblade news.